I think what I'm going to do now, move the truck, the saw horses and everything out of the way, take that trailer around back and bring more stuff that I want to store around here and uh, get it all in place. After that I'll get the tractor running and uh, get it in here and uh, once we get everything in here we can kind of start to take stock of what we got and how it all looks. I also want to measure that door opening, see how wide it is, I'm kind of thinking I'm kind of thinking that even though I was talking about not putting the Jeep in there, if the door was wide enough to get it in, it looks kind of like it is. Or the Volkswagen. I guess it would just be an added plus. Uh, I'll just sit right there and I'll pull a quick measurement here. I got six feet eight inches. Right here. Okay, that's five feet right there. That's six feet. And right where my finger is right here is six feet eight inches. The plow on the front of the Jeep, I can see it from here, is marked as being six feet six inches wide. So the plow would actually just barely fit in there. I don't know if I'd try to put it in there with the plow. I didn't know if I'd try to pull it in there, but if the Jeep is that wide, I'm pretty sure the Volkswagen ain't no wider than that. So, yeah, it could serve as a place to store one of the vehicles from time to time if need be. So, that's good to think about. See those rolls of uh, chain link fence down there? I'm going to go grab them, bring them up here, store them the same way I did those others. And then we've got a few more items of junk laying in the backyard. I'll get them around here and figure out where to put them. We'll go from there. Oh, what a good start we got on things.